if you're new to exercises, I would highly recommend that you start with bodyweight exercises, aka calisthenics, instead of lifting weights and going to the gym, because you have no foundation. You're either skinny, skinny fat, or fat. I would say somebody's fat when his body fat percentage is above 25 or 30. Somebody who's skinny fat, it fits in the category that he doesn't have any muscle on it, but he has a little bit of fat and your, his, his body or her body doesn't look a certain way that it should look, it doesn't look athletic, but in a shirt he looks small, but in a weird, in a weird way he looks fat. And uh, the other part skinny, you have just no muscle and no fat. Your body type doesn't even matter that much. The, it matters that you have a solid base. And I think that the solid base, it's easier to, to build with calisthenics, body with exercises, because I'll just reintroduce now the reasons why. It's easy and accessible. You can do it almost everywhere. Uh, you pretty much just need the ground to begin with and maybe, maybe a pull-up bar or some kind of bar that is closer to the ground. Using compound movements in calisthenics, it requires a lot of muscle at the same time, meaning that you can do a squat, you utilize your glutes, your quads, a bit of hamstring, a lot of cork stability and work. And it building that foundation, it builds that foundation a lot quicker. Another thing that I would point out is that uh, this exercise in nature and uh, bodyweight exercises can be done anywhere and everywhere at every time. And these things allow people to feel more anxious because they are by themselves. You can do those push-ups in, uh, in your room and nobody will judge you, but you will do the same in a, in a gym. Unsubconscious, you will think that somebody is watching you and that thing is gonna mess with your anxiety levels. Number three or four is that your body is moving through space and you are more conscious about your body in a way that you have to know where your feet is, your head, where your head is, your the other arm is. And that thing is making you a lot more focused in the moment, a lot more concentrated. And it's making you a lot more present. And this side effect that the calisthenics does, and it's um, a really good one. And the last one that I could think of is that the exercises are easier to perform, at least in the beginning. For example, you just have to do one push-up, and if you fail at it, you'll just fall to the ground, your stomach on the ground. But if you fail bench pressing, and no one's there, and you're a, a beginner as well, it's not the same spot, and it's not um, a good spot to be in. If you have every physique, the normal base, the solid base, will be built in like between 4 and 8 months. And that thing is gonna happen and you're gonna see that your physique is gonna change a lot more like an athletic way that thing is happening because your body burns a lot more calories and you utilize a lot more muscles that's why it burns more calories because it's preaching those compounds movement because of these compounds movements that you do your heart is gonna work pretty much on the next level as well meaning that it's gonna beat somehow faster and all that blood is going to be redistricted to your muscles and in a way that if you keep a certain rhythm like 65% of the maximum it's gonna burn a lot more calories and this thing is good for the skinny people as well because it's gonna boost your appetite a lot Another thing that it's uh, pretty magical about the calisthenics movement is that a lot of the exercise is working synergy. It's gonna um, it's gonna sound a bit weird, but it's pretty much impossible for the for the body that you have to to not be able to do one pull up if you can do forty push ups. I mean, it's not something that you would hear every day but uh, let me explain a bit 
I'm repeating myself with the compounds movements, but uh, they are really important because they use a lot of muscles. And I, I just made the, the point with the pull up. When you're doing your push ups, you're using some muscles that it requires to do a pull up as well, like some muscle here in the forearm. Your scapular muscles they are here in the back. When you're doing like retracting like this. And a lot of core as well. Maybe some of you there are a bit a bit more experienced, but sometimes when I have a push day previously to the pull day, I would feel my chest that is was a lot more sore, and I could feel it. I could feel it in my pull up. There was not. It's not something that is not happening very common, but I could feel it. And uh, my pull up game was not so strong that it used to be when I was doing legs before the pull up. Today, prior to that, I, I was meaning. Of course, I'm not saying that you have to to do push-ups in order to learn the pull-up, but I was just saying that it's a an interesting fact that um, some people don't take in uh, nothing consideration, but uh, they're not aware of. And of course that. Um, the easiest way to perform your first pull-up is gonna be to do some easier varieties of pull-ups like in a, in a slightly higher like this bar you can do your pull-ups but adjust it by your feet you're doing some like in the, in the gym you do inverted rows this is how we are called in uh, college tennis I found it interesting that a big factor that I think in the past has done something for me to my motivation was the thing that in calisthenics you don't always go from weighted to unweighted or something along those lines you go from a movement to another movement so that's your progressive overload in a sense and that thing is just doing something to your motivation because when you're going from 30 push-ups to handstand push-ups you are just excited because it's a new thing like you want to do it and yeah you sound like something or anything in life you're just excited to do it because it's a new thing and these things happened a lot in the calisthenics movement because you have to to change the variables in a way that you have to progressive overload meaning if you do 30 push-ups your muscles will not grow anything more bigger than that because the reps are too high and you're switching to, for example, one, one arm pull up, push ups, I mean, 30 push ups to one arm push up. And another thing that I will just experiment in the past with is that the people at the calisthenics park are a lot more connected, a lot more cognitive to you than the people at the gym. Uh, they are find that in the calisthenics part, the people are there to train together because they are going together and they are not training always with music but in the gym you always see something like headphones and yeah it's a big of a discrepancy here but uh, I really like doing them both and I also want to end this video with a phrase that I heard in a movie I can't remember the name of the movie, the movie right now, but it sounds like something like this. E tuttavia è ancora possibile.